of your feral deer reportings help contribute to the wider picture on feral deer management? Some landholders will see scat, tracks, rubbings on trees, consistent damage to their garden or vegetation, which will give them a clear indication on feral deer presence. So we have just seen a feral deer and what I am going to do now is going to record it using the Feral Scan app, already downloaded onto my phone. If you haven't, go to your app store to download it. So what we are gonna do is we are going to open the app. Here it comes up with a whole different options on which animals you can report. So we are going to go into the feral deer. Here is where you can decide on reporting sightings, damage, control. We are going to report a sighting. This information shows the date that you have observed the feral deer, your location which is only seen by you and is kept private. The phone uses the internal GPS to find out your location, otherwise you can find your location. It asks what deer species did you identify at this site. If you do know, please select one of the options. So we saw a chittle deer. Next, how many deer were seen? We saw one. And the sighting type, was a deer observed? Was it a sign as a track or a scat? Did you hear them? Was it a camera detection or was it not applicable? So it's already been selected as deer observed. Sighting of the age, you can put adult, juvenile, both or unknown. And the sex, was it a male, female, both or unknown? and any other extra notes you'd like to include. You can also have the option of uploading a photo. You do not have to do this. And then again, you can adjust the privacy settings. Do you want this record to be displayed to public users? Or you can select it as keep private and restrict to my groups and hit submit. Every report counts no matter how small or how big. It's really important if you are seeing deer, regardless of if they are impacting you or not, it is important to report.